for the year 2020-2021. To begin the um, ceremony this afternoon, Father Christian Sainz will start with an invocation. Thanks, Coach. One of the first prayers that we learn in Belen, and one of the first prayers that St. Ignatius also teaches us, is to offer everything that we have, all our talents, all our skill, all our strength, to the greater service and glory of God. And so recalling that prayer, and that St. Ignatius would have said this prayer that we're going to say right now, before offering his talents to the Lord, just as our young student-athletes are about to offer their talents to the different universities that are accepting them, let's first offer all those talents and all that strength to the Lord. And so we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Take, Lord, and receive all my liberty, all my memory, my understanding, and my entire will, all that I have and possess. You have given all to me. To you, O Lord, now I return it. All is yours. Dispose of me wholly according to your will, and give me only your love and your grace. This is enough for me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. At this time, I'd like to introduce to you our principal, Mr. Jose Roca, who will address the signees and, uh, and the parents and those that are here. Thank you, Bart. So, um, first of all, I want to congratulate the parents and the abuelos and the siblings because this, this is a team effort, obviously. It's a family effort to get to this point. Uh, what a weird year, right? 2020. I uh, can't wait for it to be over, can't wait for us to get back to some kind of normal sense, although we're, we're trying as much as we can. Just even this, usually we do this in the dining hall, right? But I, I actually like it up here. I think it's pretty cool to be on the stage and showcasing the fact that you guys have you know, done the job both in the classroom, which is still the most important part, and also out on the field uh, and on the course. Can't forget our cross-country champion over here. So... Uh, I want to thank your coaches because let me tell you something. This has been a difficult year because you guys, unfortunately, got your season cut short. Cross country, fortunately, has been able to run both seasons. But for baseball guys, you got your season cut short. And I know a lot of work was put in over the summer. I know that uh, your coaches reached out to a lot of the universities. You did your job, okay, and, and you stayed in shape and you worked out. And, and this is part of you know, the celebration for that, that you're going to be able to sign to play at the next level. And uh, Javi Vento has a cross-country run. He's the only one up here. It's, it's tough to get a cross-country scholarship, okay, because it's very limited also. And uh, you really have to be putting times in that are, are fantastic. And Javi's done that all year long and really for the last four years. So we're very proud of him. And for the baseball players, you know, we're looking forward to a great season. Okay, the nice thing about this is you put this away now. You're done. You know where you're going to play at the next level, and you can focus still on your school, your classes, and you can focus on out on the field. number of early signees here this afternoon, I am sure he's extremely proud and happy and uh, uh, great, feels great about this young man who uh, will be playing, representing our squad at the next level. Please welcome Coach Jerry Albert to introduce the baseball players. Okay. First of all, thank you to our administration for, for taking the time and the effort to put this together. Uh, everything is so difficult to do right now. Everything from, from allowing kids to eat lunch, from setting up PE, from setting up any kind of extracurricular. And the fact that we are able to put this together and do it in a first-class manner is, is fantastic. So we appreciate it greatly. Uh, I also want to congratulate Javier Vento, our cross-country runner. This was his second state championship, right, in four years as an individual. And especially uh, congratulate as well his coach, Frankie Ruiz, who uh, he broke the record now for state championships by a coach in the sport of cross-country. He, he won his 11th. Uh, he broke the record of, of some other legend from upstate somewhere. We've won 12, right, Coach? I think the first one was won by our very own fearless leader, Coach Barkeen. 
And uh, then he handed it over to Frankie. And, and what they've done in the last 20 years or so has been incredible, where they've taken this program to. And, and congratulations to the whole cross-country team. Hopefully most of them are here today. Uh, what they do day in and day out, the way they train and the commitment they have is, is absolutely incredible, admirable. Uh, and then the run they're on now is one of the best runs that any team in any sport has ever been on in the state of Florida. So it's really amazing what they're doing. Congratulations are definitely in order for their whole program. Um, this day is always a, a great day because we get to celebrate and we like celebrating good stuff. Uh, I, I love the fact that it's in the fall. There's not much of a distraction. Well, we, the one we have in the spring at times can be a little bit of a distraction. Uh, but doing it in the fall is terrific. Uh, it is a, a large number of kids that we had sign early. Um, we, uh, we had a few of them uh, actually commit when they were much younger. Gio and Dagoti and, and Dorian all committed at a very young age, which is very unique. Uh, it's more commonplace now than it's been in the past, but it's very unique, and, and it shows that they were very advanced at a young age physically and very gifted at a young age. So they were able to get theirs done, their verbal commitment done early, and that wound up in, in them signing last Wednesday when they were mandated to do it, really. Um, the other boys, it, it, it took a, a number of different ways for them to get there. Uh, it was a combination of videos, of conversations, of recommendations, of scout recommendations, of us pushing and prodding and relying on the, just really the relationships we built over the last uh, so many years with people that trust us. Um, and that's helped a lot. And a number of the other kids getting squared away. Jack going up to Amherst is fantastic. He'll be the first one we've had in this short time that I've had at Belen go up to Amherst and play there. Uh, Esteban going up to the University of Richmond, it's another fantastic academic school, a great baseball program as well. Carlos is going to uh, Loyola of New Orleans, which has an up-and-coming program, outstanding young coach. We have a kid up there on their team now. It's a Jesuit school, so he'll feel right at home there. Uh, Robert, <clears throat> Robert is a Dorian, I mentioned committed early. He's going to University of Miami. I think he's, he's been earmarked for that school since he was born. His dad played there, and uh, he's very close with some of the people there. And, but that doesn't mean anything when it comes to getting scholarships. You have to be good enough, bottom line. And he's been good enough all the way through, and that's been obvious. Uh, Robert is headed to Miami-Dade, which is perfect for him. Uh, he's he's uh, been hit with some serious injuries over his time in high school. But he's shown enough promise and potential that they're going to bring him in there, and it's a perfect setup for him so he can go from there and then bounce into a four-year school after one or two seasons there. Uh, Sweet Lou heading up to the University of Florida, going to be a Gator, and uh, everybody's very excited about that. We're excited to see some of these rivalries. They're all teammates now, but they're going to be going at it pretty hard in the very near future, a year from now. Uh, and then... Gio Cueto headed up to Wake Forest, and Joey uh, Rodriguez went there about seven years ago. He'll be the second guy that we've had go up to Wake Forest in this time that I've been here. There's another ACC program, so they'll be battling out with UM as well. So you guys are great. You're teammates now, and then you'll be banging heads the next couple of years. But, you know, it, it, the, the one thing you'll never lose is the fact that you're here and you came through our program, and, and this is something that you'll have for life. And that's what makes this ceremony very special. Because a lot of these guys had to sign last week that some of these bigger programs, if they don't receive your letter on that first day, they're assuming maybe you're changing your mind, and they'll move on to the next guy they have on the B list right away. Uh, so they had to send it in last week, and some of them did little private things at their home with their family. And, but there's nothing like celebrating with your teammates. They have their teammates out here in the audience, and then they have their teammates up here on stage, and they got some nice pictures already, and they'll get some more. And this is something that you'll have and appreciate for the rest of your life. The fact that you came through our program, and, and we try to prepare the kids in the program for the future, not only for the future of baseball, but for the future of life. We try and mold and help to develop young Christian men, period. And everything bounces and, and, and uh, takes off on that premise. And we're trying to develop young Christian men that know what commitment is, 
know what dedication is, know what desire means, and that when you have goals, you got to really go after it and know what it means to really work hard for it. So the, the uniqueness and the specialness of being able to do this and celebrate together, it's, it's obvious. It's because I've been asked so many times throughout the fall, what are we doing for signing day? When are we doing signing day? How are we going to do signing day? Are we going to do signing day? Because it's so important for our players to celebrate with one another. And that's very special, and that that's, makes us feel good. More than anything, that makes us feel good because they want to be with each other, and they want to celebrate with each other and each other's families. So hopefully uh, what we give you here carries to the future. You know, baseball is a sport where you've got to really go after it, and you've got to dig at it. Uh, I feel like five years from now it's very possible that Belen has – four, five, six guys in professional baseball with the type of players we've been putting out in the last few years and then we're putting out this year. I, I feel very comfortable that in five years we have a half a dozen guys playing pro ball. But to get there, you have to want it. you got to want it with everything you got inside. you got to want it to get your college scholarship. you got to really dig at it. you got to work very hard for it. We have three or four more guys that I'm very confident will be signing in the spring. Same thing. We're going after it. We're working for it. We're digging at it. Well, you, that, that, that tenacity that we're trying to build in you guys will carry you not only for your athletic careers, but for your life, for your professional life, for your married life, for your family life. That's part of that Christian commitment that you have to have instilled in you. And, and we're happy and blessed to be a, a small part of that. So congratulations to each of you. Um, I don't know how the, uh, I guess Coach Barkeen will do the ceremonial signing with each kid. And thanks a lot for coming in here tonight. And again, thank you for allowing us to have this ceremony today. Thank you, Coach. Okay, we're going to go from uh, my left to the right, and we'll wait for the last one. I think we're going to do a little hitch here. Frankie here? No. Okay, I will talk about Javi Vento, uh, Coach Frankie Ruiz. He doesn't work at the school full time, as we all know, and he's trying to get here, but we're moving quite along, and uh, I, I know enough about him to be able to talk to him. We have several people in the school that know him about his history. Javi Vento is an outstanding young man, uh, an outstanding runner, great family, great backup. And um, what comes to mind is his desire to be the best that he can be. He's a two-time state champion at Scotia. Albert mentioned, and that ties a school record, by a Berlin student in state championships. With his past weekend time in Tallahassee, he recorded the fastest time of any runner in the state of Florida and is currently ranked among the top five or six in the United States as a runner. Uh, so he's had an outstanding career. And the one thing that comes to mind is the step that in life, when we throw in curveballs and things that we don't expect, it's our job to raise and make do with what we have to work with and be the best it can be. Two years ago, I went to about six weeks leading into the state meeting track and field, had a foot injury that he could not run. So he sacrificed for about four weeks of swimming every day in the pool, working hard, trying to keep his cardiovascular up, his heart beat up, and the stamina up. And um, with only a week back on the track, he was fast enough to qualify for the state championship. And two years ago, in the two miles, run, I think, the second fastest time of anybody in Milan history, and finished on a close third, and did not win that race, I think, because he didn't have the confidence of being enough days on the track to feel what he could do. So that's the kind of runner and the kind of young man that he is. So I'm proud that he will represent the plane not only in the track season in the spring, but also um, in the future at the University of Florida. And he'll be the third runner from Berlin history to run for that program. So congratulations, Javi. At this time... We like our first signee, Giovanni Cueto, will be one of Wake Forest. <laughs> Congratulations, Jorge Luis De Gotti, who will be going to Miami uh, to University of Florida. 
Robert Fernandez will be going to Miami Dade College, who has an outstanding baseball program and is also a good educational school. <laughs> Mr. Dorian Gonzalez, an early signee with a um, commit at UM. <laughs> Carlos Iglesias will be going to a Jesuit school, Loyola University in New Orleans. Esteban Rodriguez will be going to Richmond, University of Richmond. Jack San Pedro will be going to Amherst College. And Javi Vent will be going to the University of Florida. Now, to close this event today, I always like to do what we call the sandwich effect. You pat, as a parent, as a grandparent, you pat him in the back, in the middle, you beat him up and challenge him and work him hard, and at the end you pat him again to send him home in a good feeling. So with that in mind, this year uh, I've been around, well, with sports for many, many years, 52 years this year at Berlin, and a number of years as a, an athlete before. Uh, all my life since I was six years old, I was playing all kinds of different sports. And I learned through the times and also a school and, and God is at the top of everything and the family and the, stud, the studies because that's what takes you. That's one thing that nobody can take away from you. What you learn in the classroom and how you apply it, that's the one thing that you can never lose. You can get injured tomorrow and there goes your career. But what you learn, what you have, that's there for a lifetime. And not only what we learn, but what we do with it, that's most important. How we apply it and how we use those knowledges that we get acquired in the classroom, in our Christian life, and in the playing field. All of those things combined prepare us for life. And we're going to have setbacks. And I always have a saying, expect the unexpected. Well, who would have thought to me that we were going through a pandemic like this for almost a whole full year now, where a whole spring season gets canceled right in the middle. We barely off the ground now, and we hope that this young man who last year in track and baseball did not have a finish of the season can enjoy a season. And it's day to day with this thing, as we all know. We have kids, but I have to give a tremendous amount of credit to our coaches. When asked about sports, every single one of my coaching staff, including those who do not work here full time, were ready to go to work, knowing that they're risking, as we all know. Not a single coach put a question mark on them getting back to coaching and working with the children. The school who has taken the initiative to work with the unexpected, to prepare the best that we can do and do the best that we're able to with what we have to work with. And the student athletes and the parents who put up with sacrifice, the fear and the trust that things will be fine, all for the children that you work with, all for your kids. So young man, I, my hats are off to you, my coaches, staff, parents, and the school. I strongly believe in athletics. I believe it's part of life. I believe that it makes you a better person, a better Christian, a better parent. So to you guys, my hat's off. The work is yet to be done. You still got half a year to go in school, and you still got a season to perform at the school. And God willing, we're all going to come through with this with flying colors. And soon, this pandemic will be a thing of the past, something that we we'll learn from for our children to enjoy and to be prepared. Thank you very much. Congratulations to all of you. Okay, I have to, uh, Frankie, you're here. Frankie, Coach Ruiz, I said a few words, but since you're here, can you come up and uh, at least say hello? And I acknowledge Frankie, as Coach Terry Albert mentioned today, just became the winningest state championship coach in the state of Florida history. He passed a legend from Largo, 
and uh, we're really proud, and I've, I'm proud to have been Frankie's dad's coach, Frankie's coach, and now basically I, 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 I listen and I follow him and Victor as well. Frankie. Sorry, I was late. Come, come a little far. Um, real quickly, I, I did want to um, personally uh, acknowledge Javi and his, his parents uh, for the dedication they've shown to representing Belen. And, and, I, and I like the fact that he's going, uh, following the footsteps of, of some great runners that have been here at Belen now to represent us uh, for the next uh, four years at, at the University of Florida. I think um, obviously he knows he's got an example to uh, to set for the younger guys after after um, he gets up there. But there's no doubt that if he works as hard as he's worked as a Belen runner, he's gonna gonna make us all proud. So congrats, Javi, and uh, thank you for letting me be your coach, and congrats to your parents.